Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about Dior and their lip products. We have the lip glow, lip maximizers, lip oils. When do you use them? How are they different? That is today's video. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me where you get to pick my brain and really ask me any and all beauty questions you have. So to make an appointment for yourself, go ahead and click the link down below. Okay, so I have all of my products here. What I'm going to do is go through each one and one at a time, give you a breakdown, show you the product, and also do a little application as well. So the first item we have here is actually the newest, and this is the Rouge Dior Colored Lip Balm. This is 95% derived natural origin ingredients, and this is a floral lip care. Now what's interesting is this is refillable, so it looks like a regular lipstick, but you can actually buy the refills like this. You can just go ahead and buy the refill when you run out. Technically, this has a clear, transparent color, which is what I have here, but they also have lots of tinted colors, so tinted lip balms, and they have satin as well as matte and also velvet finish, but the velvet finish is only available for the transparent. If you want lots of color selection, it's either going to be in the satin or matte finish. This here is described as the first Dior colored lip balm featuring a formula enriched with floral complex concentrated in peony, pomegranate flower, Barbary fig blossom, and red hibiscus flower extracts for more beautiful lips day after day. This lip balm provides a soothing effect on the lips and is supposed to deliver 24 hours of hydration. It doesn't actually hydrate your lips for 24 hours, but it is a very, very nice lip balm. This range here has shades for basically every skin tone, but honestly, all of the products I'm going to talk about today all have shades for every skin tone. They have beige, they have berries, they have reds in softer and more intense qualities. It's just going to depend on your taste, really. I would say that all of these products today can be worn on their own or as a primer before you apply a lipstick. It's really going to depend on what you're looking for with a primer. I would say that this one here from Dior, um, unfortunately, well, it's not unfortunate, as you can see, I have loved this. I have loved this so much. I have used this up completely. So this one here is clear. The full tube is just white, but when you apply it, it doesn't look like anything. It just looks like a lip balm. And I would say that if you're looking for, if you're looking to prime your lips with just really good hydration, just good floral lip care, and just hydrate my lips, I would go with this one here specifically in the transparent color. Now you could go into one of the tinted ones if you wanted to enhance the color as well. But for me, if I just wanna plump and hydrate my lips, not even plump, it's really just to hydrate and smooth and moisturize my lips, I'm going into this one here. Let me go ahead and do a little application for you. I have a little bit left, but I will be getting a refill. This here is the satin finish. So this is what it looks like. It's a little bit glossy, but not really glossy, just satin. If you got the matte one, it wouldn't be as shiny. As you can see, there's no real color. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel waxy whatsoever. It has a little bit of slip, but not too much. It really is just gorgeous, and you can see why I have used this up to the nub completely. This for me is just like, a really good staple like it doesn't really have any bells and whistles i like this one here in the transparent shade but you could get a tinted one but i have tinted ones in the other products i'm going to talk about in a minute and so for this one here i just appreciate just like a plain jane basic hydration that is a little bit extra a little bit luxe and I really do appreciate that you can just go ahead and buy the refills. So if I do decide I want to get something with more color, I can buy one of the colorful ones in a refill and just re replace it in this. 
Now let's move on to the Dior Addict Lip Glow. This is a different product here. So this is the Natural Glow Custom Color Reviver. This is a lip balm like this, and this will react to your lips natural ph this shade here is 008 ultra pink and there are several shades to choose from there is a natural finish a luminous finish and also a glittery finish now this ultra pink this bright pink is a natural finish and so even though we have all of these shades available they will all react a little bit to your natural lip ph which means it's going to create a custom lip color there's one called 001 i believe and that's the one that's yeah 001 delicate pink this is the one that reacts the most to your lip color and just kind of creates a hybrid but i would say all of them if you're getting a raspberry or a berry or a coral they're going to be true to the name, but they're just going to, you know, enhance a little bit with your own lip pH. This is the first Dior lip balm formulated with 97% natural origin ingredients, and it subtly revives the natural lip color with a custom glow for six hours and hydration for 24 hours. It doesn't actually hydrate for 24 hours. It's a great product, but it's not going to do that. And the glow is nice because the custom glow it almost sort of acts as a lip tint in a way. When you apply it, it does sort of tint your lips a little bit. That does last for a few hours. This is a multi-purpose product. You can wear it on its own or as a primer as well. But this one here, I really see it more as a color reviver, color enhancer. So if I'm going into a lipstick, for example, this is bright pink. So if I'm going into a bright lip color, I would use a bright pink like this, but I have other shades as well. I'm only going to talk about one color from each category for brevity, but because they have so many colors, depending on what you are going to wear as a lip color for the day, I would say choose a different one to correspond. Also, what I love to do is during the day, let's say I'm wearing a, lip, a pink lipstick and I need to rejuge, I will just go ahead and go into this and apply this over top of my pink lipstick because it's in the same color family and it's just going to rehydrate my lips, uh, give it a second life, and work together. So let's go ahead and apply this here. This one feels much more buttery compared to the first one. This one feels like, it feels more nourishing. It feels like this waxy, not in a bad way, just like a thicker, buttery balm. This one has more slip and doesn't feel quite as nourishing. I kind of forgot the difference just comparing them side by side. And as I'm speaking, you can see the color revival technology here. As you talk, as you live, it's just going to uh, transform into whatever color you chose. And I would say that this is about as colorful as it gets depending like some shades are darker and deeper so it kind of corresponds to that but it's not really going to get much more pink than this it's very natural it really is like your lip but better in whatever shade you choose and this feels it feels a bit nicer to be honest you know it just feels really nourishing very hydrating just a really really lovely finish and texture i would say maybe for winter this might be nicer or wherever you live if you just have like a colder drier harsher climate this might be nicer because it just feels more cocooning more like a thick balm um, and you can choose whatever color you want unfortunately for this one it doesn't have like a totally nude shade i think well actually no i lied there is 000, a universal clear shade. This is sheer. This one here will have no color reviving tendencies. It's just going to be a clear balm. So if you want um, a clear balm, but just maybe more nourishing, I would say get this one here. I just removed uh, the lip glow here and you can see there's still a little bit of pink here. So this is that lip tint that I was talking about. It's not intense, but it's more pink than before. And there's still a little bit of pink here on the uh, Kleenex when I wipe this off. So this is basically the color you're going to get for several hours. 
All right, now we are moving on to possibly my favorite product that we're talking about today. This is the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. This is the plumping gloss. This is the one that has the tingly effect, slight mint sensation, because I do get a lot of questions when I'm using these products, like which one is it that gives you that tingling sensation? It's this one here. This is the one that plumps your lips. So it's described as a plumping gloss, mm -hmm. instant and long-term volume effect with 24 hours of hydration. Who are these people that they're testing for 24 hours of hydration? I mean, I would volunteer. Let me know. So this Dior Addict Lip Maximizer Lip Plumping Gloss is a genuine plumping lip care for absolute comfort, shine, and maximum volume. Enriched with volumizing spheres of hyaluronic acid, the gloss's formula works to smooth and hydrate the lips while producing a plumping effect upon application day after day. Again, this can be used as a primer before you go into a lip product or on its own. I genuinely cannot tell you how many of these I have purchased. I have gone through so many, so many in my life, like half a dozen, maybe more. Like it's just, it's a great product. I love it. When I can't quite think of what to wear, I just go into this one and this one here, also has several colors. I've had rosewood. I've had other shades as well. And they're coming out with some more colors soon. I saw online. This is my favorite one. It's great. It's just, it's so wonderful. The texture is nice. I don't mind the plumping effect. I know some people do, but it's really not that harsh. Like I've definitely tried some plumping lip glosses in the past that made me feel like my lips were about to fry off my face. This does not do that. I love the formula. I love the texture. I love the color. It also has a little bit of color to it. This one here is the shade 001. So this is the one that reacts to your natural lip pH. The other ones are more colorful and more tinted. The wand for the maximizer is a bit small, but it's like a typical doe foot applicator. It's just because my product here is running really low that I have to dip in several times. Otherwise, like once or twice is enough to get the color payoff you want. You can use this as a primer, like they said. So maybe first step as you do your makeup, you apply this and you do your whole face. And by the time you want to uh, apply your lipstick, but the thing is, this is a gloss and it stays glossy for quite some time. So if you're going to apply a lip liner lipstick over top you might have to wipe off the gloss what i do often is i do lip liner lipstick and then i go with this over top technically it's like a lip care lip plumping gloss you can use it over top of your makeup it's fine you can apply it on top of lipstick if you want like a beautiful glossy finish let's go ahead and apply this So I am running dangerously low, which is why I have to like dip in several times to get the color and the gloss that I want. Typically you don't have to do that. It's just because like this is uh, basically at the end here. And again, this is just enhancing my lip pH. I would say that this pink is almost more subtle than our lip glow from earlier. I lo like, I love this. Look at this. Look at how glossy and look at the volume. Like everything is filled in. Every little line on my lip is filled in, is plump and glossy. I love the shade as well. Like it's just my lip, but better with a slight pink. I also really love the rosewood because rosewood is like your lip, but better, but just a little bit more colorful. But this one here, like this looks like a lipstick you could very easily double up like go into both of these i think this is a good combination just to like really lean into your lip but better but slightly pink i often do this as well but if i had to choose just one i think i would go with this one i just i love the finish i love the texture there is a little bit of like a minty sensation but honestly it's really not that bad it's really not that bad so this is basically as pink as this is going to get for me from the 001. Again, this is the one that like enhances your lip color, but I love this. I think it feels wonderful. It looks wonderful. It's just, for me, it's just that like perfect level of glossiness. And yeah, I think it's great. I think this is the one that I have repurchased the most, but 
Most of these, like I said, I own several shades. So I like all of them. All right, moving on to our last category. This is the lip oil. This is the Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil. It's described as a nourishing lip oil, intense gloss, and color awakening. So this one as well has several colors. This one here is 020 Mahogany, but there's also a clear gloss. It's a clear lip oil gloss. So if you want one that's just clear, no tint, no color awakening, there's also a universal shade as well. This one is described first and foremost as a nourishing lip oil, and I do treat it like a lip oil slash gloss but it's really its main purpose is a lip oil the lip glow oil is described as a glossy lip oil that deeply protects and enhances the lips and brings out their natural color a genuine lip care infused with cherry oil the dior addict lip glow oil instantly nourishes protects and softens and revitalizes the lips as well the wand applicator here is huge it's much bigger than the maximizer it really is created to just fit the shape of your lip very naturally with the curve here it's an intense lip care formula with a flattering color for an ultra luminous result and it adapts to all colors it brings out a rosy glow depending on the one you get but it all like adapts to you and brings out a special shade it's non-greasy non-sticky and pushes the boundaries of shine and creates a smoothing film that shapes the lips with an almost magnifying mirror shine effect perfect so again you can use this as a primer before you apply the rest of your makeup, but because of its glossy nature, I find that it's difficult to apply lipstick over top unless you remove it. So this one, again, you can apply over top of lip liner and lipstick if you just want to give like a super oily, oily and glossy effect. Let's go ahead and try out mahogany here. this is mahogany i love the color it's like a brownie nude it's so pretty and i'm not wearing any lip liner or lipstick under any of these and you can see that if you did lean into brownie lip uh, products lip colors underneath you would just enhance and just get such a beautiful finish i love this as well i know i said that the maximizer is my favorite and it is but this one here is my very very close second i just I love the thick, glossy finish. I love how my lips look just filled in and everything looks so smooth and plump. And this one here, the texture is different. It's definitely thicker. It feels slick, but not like an, I know it's a lip oil, but it doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna run everywhere, but it does feel like a really thick, oily gloss. This one here has no, minty tingling sensation there is no sen like tingling sensation in the lip oil this one here is just like a natural lip gloss lip oil they're both fabulous like yeah honestly these two are my favorite out of everything that we've talked about today these two are my favorite these are the ones that i use up the most just because i enjoy a glossy finish i enjoy a glossy lip and uh, while I do wear these on their own when I can't really think of what to wear for my lips, I often do use these on top of whatever lip color I'm wearing that day just to, I don't know, enhance what I'm wearing. And again, you could use the lip glow oil depending on what shade you're wearing as a lipstick. You, you could use a different shade. And you know, midday when like after lunch, maybe your lipstick has faded a bit in the center, you want to apply some moisture, you could just go in with a corresponding lip oil just to revamp a bit and give a second life to your lipstick. So there we go. That is the breakdown of the Dior Lip Balm, Lip Glow, Lip Maximizer, Lip Oil. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favorites because I'm certain you have one, maybe both, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four of these already. And if you like more than one of these, currently there are holiday kits where you get a beautiful pouch and you can either get a pouch with two full-size products or you can get some of them are miniatures. They're, they just have um, different holiday kits, holiday sets here 
with the maximizer and lip glow so yeah if you like these maybe now is the time to get these kits here i think i'm going to pick up one of these because i just love the maximizer so much but also the lip oil so i kind of wish they had a set of the lip oil and lip maximizers because those are my favorites personally if you are new to my channel i hope you take the time to subscribe and if you are a returning viewer I hope you subscribe as well because many of you who watched me are not subscribed yet. So I hope you take the time to do so. I talk a lot about luxury brands, a lot of French luxury brands as well, and I think you might enjoy your time here. So on that note, that is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.